Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to solve for what the change in quantity demanded would be after a price change if we know the elasticity. So this problem has got some uh, other stuff we don't actually need. We're told the equilibrium price is 10 and equilibrium quantity is 20. Own price elasticity is negative 5. That's the only part that we need. Uh, because the question wants to know what the new level of quantity demanded is. So it's giving us price elasticity of supply. Um, I don't need to know that. That's not, not helpful in this particular problem. If it asked about the change in quantity supplied, then it would be. But I, I, don't, need to, I don't need that for this problem. So uh, let's recall that the uh, price elasticity of demand formula is the percent change in quantity demanded divided by the percent change in price so we're actually solving for this we don't we don't know that yet so let's uh we do know some other stuff though we know price elasticity of demand and that number is negative 0.5 and we don't know. I'm just going to call this quantity demanded change, or I'm going to shorthand that. It's the same thing, just so it's easier, right? Okay, so I need to know the pre percent change in price. So that formula, write that over here, percent change using delta as change. This is the new value minus the old value. If you're using Excel, you want to put those in parentheses over the old value times 100 because this is a uh, percent okay so you can have a number that's higher than 100 because it's just the the percent change so anyway in this one uh, we want to know the percent change in the price so the new price is 12 the old price is 10 over 10 times 100 so this is 2 this is 10 so 2 out of 10 uh, and then times 100 is 20%. Okay, so this number here, 20%. So now we have the setup. We can multiply both sides by uh, 20. And this is, the sign is kind of important on this kind of problem. So multiply that side by 20, multiply that side by 20. So 20% here makes that go away. And 20% here gives us the answer. OK, so the percent change in quantity is 20% times negative 5. So it's negative 10%. So that means that we're going to have 10% uh, lower on the quantity demanded. So you can just multiply 20 times 10%. Uh, and so. 10% of that is 2, so we'll have 2 less. So we were at 20. I'm going to subtract 2. So the actual quantity demanded is now going to be uh, 18. Okay, so the answer to this one is 18. So if you get a problem like this, what you want to do is you want to fill in what you know. Uh, and if you don't know something and you can figure it out, like the percent change in price on this one, you can just use the percent change formula. It's also possible that you've been instructed to use the um, midpoint method, in which case uh, your percent change formula would look a little bit different. It would just be new minus old over the midpoint between these two values. Okay, and that's times 100. And often, I mean, I guess we can write out the midpoint formula here. It's uh, new plus old divided by 2. You're just averaging whatever the, the two values are. But usually you can just eyeball it. Like in this one, it's it's 10 to 12, so it'd be 11 would be the midpoint there. Uh, but anyway, that's how to solve that. When you know the elasticity, it's quite helpful. Figure out the rest.